munchkin, you scared the shit out of me. What are you doing, you blunt face? Shh, don't eat that. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Don't forget our deal. I have changed my mind. I like the girl. I do not think I will find another like her. Oh, so I get to go with you after all? No, I won't allow it. Oh, I will take her anyhow. She is mine. Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Good girl. This is fine. I definitely don't mind battling there the demon. Go. I just didn't want to have to take the girl. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, don't make me Morgan. I need her to do this. Another corpse to the pile. Well, <laughs> hey guys, it's Emma. <laughs> Welcome back. So, as you can see, I finally finished that little puzzle of ours. And it was well worth it because the little girl um, didn't end up getting possessed and therefore didn't need to die. Thank goodness. Also, I don't know if you can see her, but we have a, a helper who scared the bejesus out of me. She just randomly jumped into my lap while I was doing the puzzle. <laughs> Almost knocked shit everywhere. Well, all right. Okay, so now, now that we've finished our lovely dandy puzzle, oh, I guess it's, it's the view now. Oh, I'm stupid. I just used the mouse scroll. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> It's early in the morning. Don't judge me. Oh, it looks like... Oh, I guess I should update you guys on what I did, too. Okay, so I leveled up Alistair, and now... <sighs> he's in Templar armor. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a huge stat boost for him. But it's Templar armor. How did we get this book? No, good. Journal of Enchanter Willem. Was that? Okay. I wonder why he wasn't lootable earlier. Whatever. <gasps> Jesus Christ. I hate when it goes on. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> I gave you uh, Duncan Stagger, Severin. You better use it. I might need to fix his combat tactics, because he does stupid shit a lot. You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Yeah. Saving little girls and running around Magister's secret dungeons. 
Oh look, we just got right up here. Cool. So now we can go and check out Shale and see if that passcode works. Yeah. Are you clean again? Yeah. So we got that bloody key, remember, in our bags. I want to see if it leads us to that. Or is it just on here? Before I forget, because I know if we get shale and stuff, I'm going to forget. So give me a second. Because there was a treasure chest. I remember. Yeah. I want to see if this is the key. Yeah! Prized cheese knife. What? You used the key. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay, so now I can go see him. And I'll see if that dagger's any good for Zevran in a little bit. Okay, Shale. Let's do the things. Let's activate this golem. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Wow, Morgan's gonna have a partner in sass. And how do you know I'm not a mage? It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. <laughs> I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? I take it that wouldn't concern you. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Jeez. That's so horrible. Still better than dull. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Why are you calling me it? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. It certainly does. Right in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. All right, give Zevran a hug. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't appreciate foreign objects invading my personal space. Well, usually. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken? Can it be fixed? I don't know. I thought the rod simply was. It certainly worked well enough to reanimate me. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? 
I hadn't given it much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. Well, what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? And how do I know that you can be trusted? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? Good point. They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. Did you kill your former master? Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! I noticed you don't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. Like... Me as a player is like, yeah, there'll be lots of interesting stuff to do with an extra person around to talk and stuff. But I don't like this guy. He's rude and disrespectful. And he may have just killed that dude and been like, good, I hope I did. This is why I don't like Sten. Because he's like, yeah, I just kill things. Because... I guess we do what we do when we keep him in... I don't really want him. I guess better to the option we can always dismiss him whenever we feel like. I guess you're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. I agree, Alistair, but... This is adorable. Think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. <laughs> I will follow it about, then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. I was hoping there was some chat option about refusing to call him Shale if he refuses to call me by my own name. Is that your name, or what you're made of? It would rather I was called Flint. Pebbles? How about Rubble? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking you anywhere. You're a jerk. There's Wynn. Severin, I need to fix your shit. Guess we can always change the party. Yeah, get out of here. Shield disapproves, Alistair disapproves. You can disapprove all you want, you were a jerk! Not you, Alistair. You're, you're one point I can handle. What does that put you at, what, 99? We're fine here. Um, give me a second to fix Zevran's shit and level him up. Okay, I hope that solves some of our issues. Let's see. So, are we done here now? Are we done with this DLC? Is there nothing else? So what's this? Bone cellar. Oh, it's just... Yeah, dang. So that's it? The whole DLC was just to get shale? I mean, the mage engine was really cool. I liked the kitty demon. I thought it was very interesting. Um, not so much the puzzle. Because <laughs> I'm shit at puzzles. 
but is that it? Well, damn. I mean, we're on a roll with the DLC. Let's just go ahead and do the other one. Um, should we go to party camp first and do chat options? Yeah, let's do that. Just in case, because I'm afraid. Um, I guess we can talk to Shayla a little and get his chat options out of the way, even though I could care less. But you guys might care. And so, that's why we do it. Okay. Any chat options for you, Zevran? You call. Okay. Your desire is my command. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Aha! I see talking isn't quite what you had in mind. Got it. His Templar armor keeps throwing me for a loop. It's like... Now where is this stupid hunk of... Um, Sven. You called. As you wish. I almost clicked on I think you should leave an accident. I was gonna be like, ah. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. So, um. As is my duty, Grey Warden. I guess when you gathered all your people, they stand over here. I wonder who's going to be the representative for the Dalish. Something I can help with? Okay. I won't bother with Wayne because it doesn't. Well, let's just go ahead and check. What's on your mind? Oh, good. We do have chat options. Why did the spirit choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams, because I knew they were there. I've never experienced that before. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Do spirits watch people like that? I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me and was guarding me, for want of a better word. You're very lucky. There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. And also in your fight with Petra's demon. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I'm glad that you think that traveling with me is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare her for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. I'll hold you to that promise. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Looks like we got um, 
Advanced approval. Oh, Solus would like her. It also explains why she really didn't want to stay in the circle. It's because she knew that she was living on borrowed time. Okay, my sweet. I don't think you have any chat options, but I just like to make sure. What comes, my friend? Okay. I guess we'll do stuff with a rock. Oh. I know, that's my reaction to having to speak to you as well. What's with the heavy sigh? Oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Won't we be right next to your stain? I think not. I am made of pure rock, skin to core. At best, I can become a pile of dust, but a smear I will definitely not leave behind. That's for softer, squishier things like itself and its friends. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. Pigeons? Oh. You're still with me, I see. Yes. Its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. Do what you want. Then I shall remain. It is too interesting to abandon for now. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Oh, I thought he was going to disapprove. Oh. I would have expected golems to be different. Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, master, I exist to serve the master. I shall kill for the master and only for the master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, I, uh, <laughs> I can't resist. Are they dirty limericks? Mostly they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like, or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? What is with pigeons? I have no idea what golems sound like. I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. It's an experience, I'll give it that. So is being drawn and quartered. Maybe I'm not the only one with a smart mouth, hmm? Now stop talking so much. The <laughs> wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. God, he's... He approves? I guess it's because I'm being snarky back. Oh. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. Are those crystals in your skin? I like to think of them as accessories. But what do they do? I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. So the decoration? As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap at will. That sounds like an excellent idea. I'm so glad it thinks so. 
Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Hmm. Would you be willing to have more added? Why not? I don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures, after all. That answers its question, I assume? Unless it has more. I'm told you killed your former master. Did I not already tell it that I do not remember doing such? I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Vague, but not non-existent. Clever and true. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was tinkering with spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. What sorts of experiments? Bah! I am no mage, and he did not explain himself to me any more than it would explain itself to a sword. He possessed my control rod, and back then it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to, no matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then... nothing. So he hit the kill me button... by accident? Ho, oh, ho, ho. It does like to laugh, does it? But who knows? I may have such a thing. And then he was gone. I was standing where I was, in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. But you wanted to kill him, correct? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very much so. For so many years, I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. Maybe it has something to do with your crystals. Hmm, possibly. Except that he was not experimenting with the crystals at the time, I think. But my memory is not good. It may be correct. Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless. For which I should be thankful, yes? And provided it doesn't decide to copy his experiments, not that I would allow it, it is nothing to fear from me. Much. I was simply curious about the story. And now it knows, and doesn't it feel better? Let us get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. Disapprove all you want. I don't care. Oh. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No, obviously not. <laughs> How did you end up in Hornleaf? Do you remember? Oh, yes. That I remember quite well. My former master, the Mage Wilhelm, he brought me. As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum, snarl at that villager there. Be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. <sighs> It is interesting to see, like, a deeper side to what was occurring. Him being of in somewhat indicative intelligence, and I wonder if he could ever tell any of that to Wilhelm. Because I think if Wilhelm, well, I'm hoping if Wilhelm knew that he was capable of feeling and thinking on his own, that maybe he wouldn't have treated him the way that he did. Good kitty fluff. 
I would have thought you'd enjoy scaring humans. I'd have happily stomped them all into paste, and then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. In fact, after 30 years of watching them, I'd do it twice. What I didn't like was being ordered to do it. Dangled in front of those frightened morons like some scary thing. Once I was a statue, it took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me <sighs> urinated himself. Ugh. Do you remember anything before Hanleaf? I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went? It is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. Just how old are you exactly? I have no idea. Wilhelm used to brag that the dwarves stopped making golems centuries ago. I do not age as you soft creatures do. Sadly, my memory is no better. Plus, I get bored and stop paying attention. But why were you out in front of the tower? That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Pah! Plus, his wife didn't want me indoors. She said there wasn't room for me. Hag. What the shit? You're a giant stone thing. Of course there's not room. His wife. Hmph. I was once larger. Ten feet tall. Then the loathsome hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? And she still wanted me out. Oh, this guy. How does someone shrink a golem? With a chisel. And a lot of nerve. You didn't like this, Willem, I take it. He did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife actually threatened to throw it in the lake. Ha! <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? Willem's wife sold it, I believe. Hag. So rude. So rude. I'm done asking about that. Good. I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it? Believe me, friend. It it is the last time. Can we can we just leave him here? Can we be done? Let's let's just be done with him. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Let's sell real quick. So I got something a little special. Well, these must be his equip crystals. Now you have to wear that pigeon. Wear it. Wear that pigeon. Look how cute. That pigeon's so cute. <laughs> That's what you get for being unpleasant and rude. Okay, let's finish up our next DLC, and if I'm correct, it's the one with the guy that was in our camp, and Duncan and made that promise to him, and we need to go and, like, restore his family honor. So it's just, like, a quest for Zuko, but he's not nearly as cool as Zuko. Okay, I'm gonna give you one last chance. Yes. Indeed. Oh, I was trying to... Yes. Arrange the circles all pretty, but that's cool too. Okay, so we didn't have the other ones that remained up there. I wonder why that one's still there. Did we finish it? I guess it's just because we can't go back. Well, let's go to Soldier's Peak. Oh, um, but 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 we were in camp. Yeah, made it. And 
Here we are. Soldier's Peak. It's pretty. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Andraste's blood. How did you find that path on your own? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. You could tell me. It came to me in my dreams. When I was a lad, I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. Why didn't you mention this before? I didn't want you to think I was some moon-addled simpleton. I've me wits about me, but enough of that. I'll follow you, from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the Wardens flourished, their ranks full, their calibre certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey. Children, play nicely. <laughs> so everyone's like, I'm not in this. Okay, guys. I am going to leave y'all here with this teaser for next time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.